All right, welcome back to the shop, folks. Getting another stream started. For anyone tuning in in the archives, I always like to try to do a really quick summary as soon as the stream starts rolling, even though I know a lot of people don't tune in until a little bit later. Um, on this stream, we're I'm going to try to get into actually something completely different that I've been putting off for a bit because the winch bots were so exciting. Um, this one is actually going to be a bit of playing around with Neon, trying to uh, maybe develop a bit of a group effort entry for the Flashing Light Prize this year. So uh, yeah, getting that one started. And in the meantime, welcome. So this is the live stream component of uh, scanlime.org. If you haven't uh, come across this before, it's basically uh, I do this pretty regular work in progress uh, stream where I just kind of invite all of you to hang out in my shop while I uh, hack on stuff. And it's building stuff, reverse engineering, doing other random projects like we have today. <laughs> Just uh, catching up on chat, so a few folks are already stopping by in Gitter and in YouTube. Uh, Vifino says hello, and uh, Pau is lamenting how they were just getting into bed. <laughs> well, welcome. We've also already got a pretty good view of Tuco here. Um, <laughs> I say that while the video capture card is apparently having trouble. Let me see if I can reset this. that help? Oh no. I might have to route the video through a slightly alternate path here. Oh geez. Um, hmm. Well, I just made it worse. <laughs> ah, this will teach me not to check out all the video channels before I get a stream started. Um, I can send you the debug video. Yeah, that video in the corner is supposed to be Tuco Flyer, and um, I, I tried switching input channels on the video capture card that this is connected to, and there's this interesting scenario where um, so I've got I've got one physical video feed that's being split into two capture cards, and one capture card is running the computer vision, the other capture card is running the stream. And one, so the computer vision capture card is running fine, and the stream is having trouble. And a, weirdly enough, they can affect each other. So if I change the mode on the uh, on the capture card for the stream, it'll actually throw the computer vision off with black frames for a while. Um, which is weird. I don't know if that's actually a driver bug or if it's actually an analog thing where. You know, maybe it's like one of the capture cards is setting that as an output for a while and messing up the signal, so I don't know. Oh no, bedtime in Denmark too. Well, hopefully uh, anyone who's tuning in in an inconvenient time zone uh, will have better luck next time, sorry. Oh, Piot made it in the right time zone, nice to see you. Um... Let's see, what can I do about this Tuco cam? I think this is just a problem with the the OBS input now. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna have to halt the robot so it doesn't go off into the corner. Yay, debugging. Oh, why did I just steal? This is not right. Oh, geez. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> okay, well, this is, this is annoying. I might actually have to really quickly restart OBS to see if that helps with this. Ugh.
Yeah, I don't want to do this whole stream missing a camera. I'll be right back. Sorry about the interruption.